Hello, everybody, and welcome to the BlueWorks Live uh, release preview presentation. I'm Margaret Thorpe, BlueWorks Live product manager, and I'm going to be talking a little bit about the new release that we're going to be rolling out this coming weekend, uh, weekend of August 16th. So in this release, we are introducing a new, more modern look and feel for BlueWorks Live. So we've updated the color palette, the typeface, buttons, icons, and really set a whole new visual style and tone for the product. Um, we've also made some other tweaks, eliminated the gradients throughout the product, and some other things to create just a simpler, more elegant user interface overall. Um, now these changes are, are the result of, of applying something called the IBM design language, which is really a set of principles um, that describe a human-centric approach to designing intuitive user interfaces. And, and these principles are being applied to IBM's entire portfolio of SaaS products over the next couple of years. And BlueWorks Live is at the forefront of this design transformation. So um, now this release is just our first step towards creating a more delightful user experience for, for BlueWorks Live customers. Um, you know, we'll, we'll be doing more of this work later on. But I'm, uh, let's go ahead and, and let's take a look at, at the new look and feel here. So I think the easiest place to appreciate the new look and feel is here on the process diagram. Um, as you can see, it's simpler, uh, cleaner, with a more modern look. I think the new color palette really contributes quite a bit to this, these you know, vibrant colors, as do the new icons. So up in the uh, upper right-hand corner, you can see that the, the new icons, they're just much simpler, cleaner, you know, very minimalist, which makes them much more legible. And, um, and the, the font, the, uh, the type is consistent throughout, which makes the text more readable. And we remove gradients in the diagram, which just creates this kind of more modern look of the activity boxes um, and the colors there. So it's, uh, I think, overall, it's just easier to find what you're looking for when you look at um, when you look at the screen now. So now to see how we've applied this new look and feel to the BlueWorks Live library, let's take a look at the uh, process page here, and you can see. You know, this is a good place to see the, the use of icons, I think. You know, you've got the icons uh, in the background there for the process blueprints and, and uh, process apps. And here on the drop-down menu, you've got, you can see the, the style of the smaller icons on the drop-down menu. And, you know, once again, these icons are just cleaner, they're simpler, they're more legible than they were previously, and they're used consistently throughout the product now. Um, which hasn't been the case, you know, as BlueWorks Live has evolved over the years. Um, you know, we've ended up using similar icons in different places to mean the same thing and um, things like of that nature. And with this release, we've just cleaned all of that up. Now, if we delve into uh, one of these spaces and go to the Space Overview page, here you can see that the various process artifacts blueprints, process apps, decisions, and policies, they're organized with these new color-coded expandable headers, um, which creates just a much cleaner view of the artifacts within the space. And if we expand these headers, you know, you can see that colors, again, being used consistently, and, you know, where blueprints are blue and process apps are green and decisions are orange and policies are, are purple, you know, that we're using the same color scheme with the expandable headers. So, you know, as you become accustomed to this new interface, your eye will just, you know, more quickly and easily go to um, what you're looking for. You'll find it, you know, more easily with this kind of a scheme. Now, for those of you that frequently use analysis mode, I think you'll find it a lot more legible. You know, so the selected properties that are visible over on the left um, and also on, immediately on top of the activity boxes where they occur, these properties are displayed now using different colors rather than the same color, which, which is how they're displayed in the product today. Um, when you mouse over one if, uh, on the diagram, you can see here that the hover text, you get this black background, pop out with a black background and, and white text, which is very visible, stands out really nicely. And, and this is the same style of hover text used across the product now. 
Now over on the left, you see that once again these, these color-coded collapsible headers corresponding to each property. So this lets you hide the values, um, which you previously you couldn't do in Blue Ridge Lab, and it just makes for a much less uh, cluttered display of information. And I guess the last thing I'd like to point out here is that uh, these are the same icons, so on, uh, immediately on top of the activity boxes you can see that the different properties are represented using different icons. And these are the same icons that are used to represent process and, and decision details throughout the entire product. So whether you're looking at um, the process or decision details panel where you're entering uh, information like experts and inputs and outputs and things of that nature, the, the icons that you see here are going to be the same icons that are used on analysis mode, and they're going to be the same icons that are used in the documentation view of the process as well. So once again, you know, just training the eye um, and, and making it quick, quicker and easier for you to pick out the information that you're looking for when you, when you go to a screen. And finally, I'd like to just highlight a couple of things on the work in the work tab. Um, so we have this, this page where you can see all the tasks that have been assigned to you. And as you can see here, we've color-coded the status of tasks to show levels of urgency, you know, with overdue tasks being shown in red um, and tasks that have no due date are in green. And once again, you can expand and collapse those. But the colors are consistent with the colors used down in the bar chart. You know, just the overdue tasks are red. Um, and the rest of them are green. So we're just trying to use color consistently to help um, help your eye pick things out um, easily and quickly. And that's kind of an, uh, the quick overview of this new look and feel. And as I mentioned, it's the this update is coming out this weekend, um, August 16th. So starting Monday, you'll be able to you know see and try the new the new interface yourself. And I hope you all enjoy it. And um, if there's, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take everybody off of broadcast mode to see if there are any questions. Um, and I'm going to close out the uh, audio portion of this conference. So um, thank you so much for, for your time. And um, 